At a chicken processing plant, after the feathers are removed from the birds, they move to what's known as the evisceration line. Chickens today are very healthy and uniform in quality and size, allowing this part of the process to be almost entirely automated. First, the internal organs are removed and a high-powered vacuum cleans out the inside of the bird. Next, under a modernized or hemp system, trained company personnel examine every bird for quality and wholesomeness and may remove a broken wing, feather, or other defect that would impact the quality of the chicken. These employees go through extensive training, both classroom and hands-on. This is the point in the process where traditional inspection differs from the modernized or the hemp system. In a traditional inspection system, you might have two USDA inspectors here, each with trained company employees as helpers. These USDA inspectors perform the same tasks by identifying the defects and then together with a company helper may remove any defect such as a broken wing, feather or a bruise that would impact the quality but not the safety of the chicken. Under a modernized system like this one, one of the USDA inspectors is moved to the end of the evisceration line and still inspects every bird after it has been eviscerated and cleaned, rather than looking at it in the middle of the process. The other USDA inspectors are available to do more food safety related tasks, like testing for salmonella, instead of focusing on other consumer related issues, like broken wings and inspecting for bruises, which are really a company's responsibility. Next, birds are thoroughly washed inside and out to remove any possible loose materials. Another plant employee then removes any defects that the previous three have marked and checks every bird for anything that may have been missed. Again, in the modernized or hemp system, a USDA inspector is stationed at the end of this line and inspects every bird after the employees have and after all the steps are taken to clean it. This inspector has the ability to shut any portion of the line down if they see a problem. After each bird is inspected by USDA, trained company quality assurance and food safety personnel inspect the birds once again for quality and wholesomeness and document the results. USDA does this testing too. Each chicken is rinsed one last time before it is chilled and moves on to second processing, where it might be cut into parts, deboned, or packaged whole. As you see, there are several steps taken both before and after USDA inspection to ensure the quality and safety of the chicken. And this visual inspection is only one piece of the whole inspection process. The chicken is also tested for bacteria like salmonella. It is analyzed for any residues and it may pass through a metal detector. The whole process is documented and verified by USDA. Whether chicken plants operate under traditional poultry inspection or the modernized system, the end result is the same. Rigorous food safety standards are applied to all chicken products, and these products must meet or exceed these safety standards set forth by USDA before they reach your plate.